In this video, we're going to look at the Tiny Links app for SharePoint. This app is going to allow us to do a number of things. First of all, we can create tiny URLs for pages in SharePoint, maybe list items and documents. And tiny URLs are going to be much easier for someone to easily just jot down on a piece of paper. The second thing is we're going to collect click analytics based upon the different users that click our link or that navigate using that tiny URL. We're going to capture a number of different things like, um, you know, based upon time we can look at the analytics and also by geography. So for generating a URL, it's actually quite easy. It's built into the ribbon and some of the contextual menus. So for instance, if I'm on a page here, I can simply go up to the page tab and click on the ribbon button that says get a tiny link. When I do that, it will pop up a uh, little pop up here. It'll generate a tiny URL and then we can simply copy it to our clipboard. So it has a nice feature of being able to copy to clipboard. So um, now if I were to take that tiny URL and put it in a browser, it will take me to that location. Um, the other way I can use this is like in a document library. Um, and there's a number of different ways I can do that here. Contextually, I can go over to the context menu and I should have an option here to get a tiny link you see there at the bottom. Or I can simply by selecting it, I can go up to the files tab in the ribbon and I can click on get a tiny link. And again, it's built into a number of the different lists and libraries. So like a calendar or just a normal custom list. And again, I can copy my URL. And when I go and then enter that into the browser, you can see that it tries to open up that restaurants XLSX. All right, so that's generating the tiny links. Let's take a look at the analytics side. So if I click on the Tiny Links app, this will take me into the location where it lists all the links that we've generated for this site. And so you can see I have three different um, tiny URLs that I've generated here. And I'm going to go into one of the ones that has a number of clicks. So I'm going to click on the second one here. And that will bring me into the analytics details. So I can see who created it, when they created it, how many clicks it has. And then I get some really nice HTML5 reports. So I can look at, you know, based upon time, the number of clicks. So it looks like we peaked a couple of hours ago at 24 clicks in an hour. Um, I can look at that across seven days. In this case, you can see my tiny URL link hasn't been around that long. Um, and then again, as I expand further and further, I can look at different um, historical time spans. I can also look at this from different geographies. So here I'm looking at the analytics of clicks around the world. So I can see that the US has 533 clicks. And if I went over here maybe to Japan, it has 39 clicks. And then uh, I can go even further specific to the US. I can look at by state. So I can see that Texas by far has the most clicks with 109, followed by either California at 56 and Washington at 59. So again, and these are all HTML5, so they're going to work across any browser, any modern browser. So that's the Tiny Links app for SharePoint available in the Office Store.